Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis from PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. Today I want to show you, you do not need a 70, 80, 60, 50, even 45 liter backpack to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, especially for the desert section where you're starting out and you're probably not in that good shape and it's pretty hot, especially if you're leaving in April or May. You can do it in a 14 liter hydration running pack. Yes, 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 and I can even go lighter than this. This is, I wanted to just kind of throw something together to show people that maybe aren't making all their own gear, just something basic and inexpensive. So, uh, and I'll go into everything in detail. I'm gonna show you different types of lightweight setups, but let's just take this as kind of a full comfort desert section. So uh, first off, a 14 liter pack, $24 at Walmart. Uh, other packs work. I even have lighter packs. This one weighs under a pound. I think it's like 13 ounces. Uh, again, I'll do a review on it, but I like this one because it has a little like lightweight hip belt and has a uh, upper strap right up here. So it stays nice and secure and doesn't bounce around. So having said that, let's dive into what I have. Okay. Uh, Bivy sack, bivy sack, that's all you need. Cowboy camping, look at the stars. Nice and warm, completely waterproof. Uh, I have a couple different ones. I don't like the silver thermal one it te intended to rip. So uh, I either like the more expensive one, which uh, I think I have one that's like 60 bucks. I got half price at REI uh, and it has a zipper. Uh, that's about eight and a half ounces. This one I like the no zip, it's only five ounces, that's it. And you do want to store this uh, inside out with the silver facing um, on the outside. So let me step back. Hi, Merlin. <laughs> my cat Merlin's getting in the video. <laughs> hey, Merlin, no, 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 don't knock my phone over, baby. Uh, so anyway, that's it. This is, uh, you can see this, this is five ounces, completely waterproof, nice and warm. Especially if you have a quilt, this is a good thing to have because it's going to um, keep your... Uh, trap in all that warm air with your uh, quilt that could be a little drafty and you can always skip the stuff sack save more weight uh, but I like the stuff sack it prevents it from being ripped that's one thing so five ounces for your shelter now you know if it rains really bad uh, or it's hot you may just want the little tarp and what's nice about this tarp it's a sea to summit it's a poncho tarp now this is a little pricey but you could make a uh, tarp out of uh you know duct taping some plastic bags or some um space blankets uh uh i i've used a walmart nine dollar tube tarp uh, in the sierras when i was cowboy camping and i didn't even string it up i just crawled inside it and used it uh wrap myself like a burrito uh so this is a little price i think this was like a hundred bucks but here it is 8.1 grams with the stuff sack super light and it's got good coverage but if you're um, gonna expect a lot of hard rain I would go with a larger tarp which I do have larger tarps for uh, more hard rain but again desert it never rains out here in the desert so moving along um, water if you're traveling light you don't need to carry as much water and again you know maybe you need more you're sweating more so uh, for me as I'm gonna say personally for me I don't want you not to take enough water but again i showed you in a previous video these nice arrowhead water bottles something light uh, and i showed you a bigger one these are these are the ones i took one drop of bleach each and i just squash them down so they pack nice blow them up there it is it's ready to go and that's it. you can take your finger kind of push it a little kind of get it out more and i would just go in the stream fill this up one drop of bleach i'm good to go and bleach is a super light really good filtration system never got sick never got jardia so bleach is my go-to uh filtration if the water's really nasty i'll just put a bandana um maybe do some burn some uh charcoal and also get some uh little grass and kind of make my own homemade filtration system nature provides the trail provides people uh next up what else do we have in here i like to have just a carabiner because sometimes i'll clip my um you know my baseball hat my ultra light hat or i'll clip my uh, gloves on here or something else i might have clipped on so i just have one of these night light uh clips a little thermometer i like to know how cold and hot it is oh it was so cold this morning now wow it's almost what 80 and it was uh <laughs> It was really cold. <laughs> it was 40 this morning. Anyway, so I have that. Also, um, 
if I take a Nalgene bottle, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I like the carabiner to lock my bottle in place. I've had it fall out and I've had to go down the mountain to get it. So unclip this. Uh, yes, um, the other little bottles I showed you are lighter, but uh, the nice advantage of the Nalgene, especially if you're going light, is that you could actually use it as a stove and boil water if you needed to. If you got hot coffee in town or you boiled some hot liquids, then you could carry that with you or someone else made you some hot liquids and you could warm up some nice liquids. And this is a very fast way to warm yourself up. Uh, put it under your armpits, like sh shove it in your jacket shove it under your sleeping bag just make sure it doesn't leak uh, the, these things eventually do wear out after about uh, I think mine lasted like 10 years and then it's finally started leaking so uh, you know great little uh, thing Oh, and, um, you know, you say, oh, well, you need a bigger pack because your water bottles. No, you can just stick your water bottles. I wear, uh, you can't see here. I'm not going to wear these shorts. These are cotton, but I wear shorts with pockets. I put one bottle in each of the, each front pocket. And um, I actually bought a little hand holder. I can hold one bottle in my hand if I want. I don't use trekking poles anymore. Um, I've got a service dog in one hand, and I can keep a bottle in the other hand if I want. Also, in the front of this, I can um, put these in here and just strap them right down right here and tie them up i've got little um mesh pockets i bought at rei and i can tie two of those in the front so i'm gonna be good uh i met a guy who did uh triple crowning i met him out at the pct in northern cal do, doing my sobo uh in 2018 he said uh his all triple crown he only carried max a liter of water at a time so again it depends how much you drink uh, i drink a lot at the source camel up camel up at your water sources and when you move faster you need less so moving along in the pack uh, in here I have um and again, this is just to show you, I'm not, this isn't my final gear list. This is just showing you something I take out all the time on my day hikes. And again, I have taken out on sections and um, of the PCT testing and some toilet paper, which I just kind of wide up, stick in the ball. But it's not my final one, so that's why I'm not giving you the total weights. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of seeing how much you can fit in a 14 liter pack. Little nice lightweight uh, dog bowl. I can just put that on a campfire and boil some water with that. So super lightweight uh, dog muzzle for when uh, Jake doesn't behave and he wants to um, uh, chew on something. I don't want him chewing on the ground like somebody throws chicken bones or something. So muzzle, muzzle. Uh, and that just goes in my nice, yeah, waterproof, like look at that Cuban fiber bag. Yeah, I'm just joking. Just my little trash bag here. And I always carry an extra a uh, little plastic bag because one never knows when something you know might be wet like this if it's raining hard and you know this is kind of wet and it stopped raining and i just don't want that to like leak and i want to shove it in my um you know in my bivy so anyway that's that what else do i have in here now oops and i'm throwing and i try not to throw sorry about that now going in this compartment um i just picked finally found some more big minis because i had to get rid of mine when i flew back from um, northern california so uh i'll have a big mini in there and i also carry a fire steel a uh, little headlamp i like to keep it yes it's more weight but i like to keep it in a little case because if this breaks this is very ultra light it breaks and i have nothing and I've broken my headlamp so this is a little case this is just a little black diamond ion it's a I think 200 lumen it does the red light and the white light and you can uh, have a bright or dim one battery uh, that's it it's very very light I forgot how many ounces I think it's like uh, two ounces maybe three ounces very light uh, I could go lighter but I like a real headlamp and I find that this one fits really nice on my head um, paracord always very useful for many many items like hanging up your tarp also uh, you know uh, for uh, fire starting um, something breaks you need to lash something down um, this isn't something I would put this would be my ditty bag with other stuff I'm not going to carry my change purse that's just for when I'm running around the city so um, that would be filled with other things in here um, I don't bring a lot for med just uh, hand sanitizer sometimes I bring a small sliver of soap uh, and hold on hold on 
chapstick, very important, full chapstick. Uh, you can use this as your body glide. You can put it on your feet not to get blisters. You can use it for chapstick, sunblock, uh, loosen up when the zipper gets stuck. Uh, it's also antibiotic ointment. You can put on you lots of uses for chapstick. Uh, it doesn't matter what flavor. If you're in bear country, probably the flavorless uh, one is the best. Um, then over here, knife, knife, knife. I have all kinds of different knives. Um, you know, I also just bought a lightweight knife sharpener because the knife is u useless if it's not sharp. That's how you cut yourself. So knife, if you want to go really cheap, really light, this is a very light knife. It's got serrated and non-serrated edge, so you can saw and cut and do everything you need to do. Uh, it's folding, so you can uh, conceal carry in California, and it has a clip. You can clip it anywhere you want on your pack, on your belt. Uh, two dollars at walmart and these knives do hold up pretty well so that's it a uh, little knife but i do carry a nicer knife so now this is my uh little kit here i have um, my driver's license on one side put money in here um extra uh hair tie which i uh use for my quilt a uh, couple band-aids uh sometimes i don't even bother with the band-aids just use duct tape um uh, a little mirror because I do wear contacts. It's also a signal mirror and I want to show you inside here And I used a surfing wallet. Yes, I could wrap everything up in a um, plastic bag But I have dropped my wallet before and I want something that's waterproof and I, I also the mirrors have cracked before too So with the mirror and these other little things that get broken I'd rather have the weight and have the little uh, waterproof surfing wallet, which is five dollars at uh uh, big five now here is my little kit. We got a uh, little little lightweight uh, whistle here and I uh, Need the whistle because I have a dog so a service dog my Siberian Husky Jake So I want to be able to whistle also good for emergencies uh, I, I've never really taken a whistle before but I decided I am gonna do that now Because um, I don't take a spot or anything else little mini compass. This actually was a uh, had a thermometer here and it fell off in the middle of uh, Northern California so I just keep the compass part and it has a little indentation where I can fit the whistle in there and then a large safety pin for whatever I need dig things out I don't use tweezers I don't need them if a, a nail clipper doesn't do what I need it to do a safety pin will and the nail clipper is just kind of an in-between and it just never really works for me and that's that's it i can hang down my pack but since it broke i just put it in the wallet now um what other goodies do we have in here oh yeah sunglass case for the sunglasses and this i can clip outside which is actually better less likely for the sunglasses to break and i just use cheap uh these old Spider-Man uh, sunglasses, $2. Um, this is uh, pepper spray. I do not take it on the trail. A lot, of, a lot of parts of the trail, it's illegal. I did take it in, in the parts that were legal, never used it on the trail, but I do carry this in this neighborhood. Yes, and again, the twisty ties I use for my quilt, so I have a couple extra ones, which I'll wrap around the wallet. Um, glasses and contact lens uh, case. Uh, I may not do contacts, I may just do glasses, so uh, extra pair of socks, uh, I don't do darn toughs unless I'm like in the, I might take them in the Sierras, depends on the snow, but my feet are always warm, like last night it got down, I think, 35 36 degrees and I was testing out my hammock and um, the bottom of me was kind of cold because I wasn't using my 20 degree under quill but my feet are always roasting I took the little lightweight socks I had on uh, off and I always like you know barefoot my I have good circulation so just lightweight socks uh, now the sleep uh, sleep system here uh, in addition to the bivy here we are the uh, Thermarest Neo Air. I go with the short because I'm short. Uh, eight ounces, eight ounces. And you know, some people don't use the sack. I use the sack because uh, there's nothing worse than a punctured air mattress, you know? So I want my air mattress good. This was very expensive. So I just leave it in its case. It's just more durable. Um, okay, now we're down to the final um, stuff. I'll, I'll get to my sleep system. Let me just show you this. Um, and then here, uh, a bandana. I usually take orange on the trail. I'm just using red because that's what I have around here. Uh, an extra buff that you use as a you can use as a bra. Um, 
just some Nike uh, fingerless gloves. I, I have thicker ones I actually take on trail. And these are amazing because you can use them. I have no clue what that annoying ringing sound is. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, you use these. Uh, I use. I don't want sun gloves. I want thicker gloves because I'm going to use them to uh, process wood, gather materials, you know, gather my campfire, whatever I'm using, climb over rocks. Um, if I fall, uh, I just like the thicker gloves, and I just use the same things all through the PCT. Uh, then um, I usually don't bring a thermal top but because I'm sleeping in my down jacket and I just get too hot so at least for the desert part so just compression sleeves just Nike ones I think they were 20 bucks got these uh, they sell them at Dick's Sporting Good and at Big Five and these are great I can um, use them last year on the PCT uh, I used them both I bought two pairs used one on my legs and one on my arms and I was nice and uh, warm when I slept uh, though I probably will bring the uh, Nike bottoms because they're only four ounces now this is it, the last of my kit. So here I have the Sea to Summit 8 liter lightweight um, water resistant bag and this helps to compress things more in addition to the compression. Yes, I can use a uh, trash bag. I've used trash bags. I don't like them. They rip. I like to have things more compartmentalized and that's just me. So when it's raining and, or windy, I can just dump things out and they don't blow away and grab what I need. So, and I can't, I don't, when I'm using down, I do not want my down wet so that is like my bag and and again like I said compresses more than this is a compression bag uh, again this is see the summit and this is it and I'll let me pull this out here let me step back so let's deploy the sleep system that's the quilt I'll get to that in a minute so let me show you what else I have so Never leave home without a wind jacket, three ounces, because it's the jumbo size that actually goes over my down jacket. And if I double my down jacket, it goes over. Plus, it was on sale, the larger size. It was $150. I got for $75. Uh, if I have more money, I'd like to get the uh, Tachyon wind pant and wind jacket, because I think those are like 1.8 ounces each and just gotta have the money, um, don't know if I will, but this thing has been great, I've used it. I would never go on the PCT without a wind jacket. And you know, the problem with your down jacket is that if you're wearing it and it's windy, it's just gonna suck the heat right out of the down. So you need the double layer system. Plus this keeps you really warm when you're wearing a poncho uh, rain jacket if you're not wearing a uh, raincoat like a frog tog um, I want the sleeves on this so that'll keep me warm and it's really breathable now jacket uh, I have a couple different jackets no more and you can't go on my quilt and I really uh, just like a really light jacket I get hot I never hike in a jacket right now I'm like roasting in this little thing uh, but this was a Christmas present so I'm wearing it I like it. it's nice but anyway uh, going back here this is the um, I don't even know what brand this is uni uh, QLO made in China medium I got it for $20 at uh, Costco I don't see them anymore uh, but you know what this thing is just really super warm I took it on the PCT and I was totally fine with it and it weighs uh, seven ounces so that's all I really need you know to boost up my sleep system now Lastly, I, I'm going to show you another quilt that I also take, at, you know, like I, which is my 20 degree, which I'll probably swap out in the uh, Sierra's. My 20 degree quilt is quite expensive. So I want to show someone, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, this is like your new best friend, the Costco Packable Down Throw. It's the double black diamond. Um, they used to sell them in the Costco store and I don't see them this year, but I do see them online. I know Amazon has them too. And there's a pack of two, which you'll definitely want to have too and there's a B, hopefully it won't bite me. Um but I do have my one bed drill I showed you I always carry. But anyway, uh, I've been modding this one. I've modded a couple of these. I made an underquilt out of one. And the underquilt kept me warm last night down to um, 35 degrees. I was fine. I actually put my sleeping pad in for a little while. And I was like roasting. And I took the, the sleeping pad out. I had my other Thermarest self-inflating Scout um, short pad. And I just had the Costco quilt. I had 
um, bought in a Caro step and I was totally warm and and I've used this on top and got taken it down to uh, like 35 degrees and I'm warm with it and now what I do with this I love it because I don't want to get a quilt that has all kinds of straps and everything because it's just more weight and what I do with it I ripped this one if you can see and this weighs 15 ounces by the way I ripped it uh, in a uh, long uh, tubes so that way I could have more down and what also I did is because you can take this I'm trying to remember which side uh, you can actually take this and um, the way this is set up with the vertical baffles I can shake 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 and move all my down to the second half and I can fold this and now I've just doubled the warmth of my quilt. I've just doubled it and I can actually use these little, um, I told you those hair ties and tie off the ends, tie off a foot box and tie it all up so it's nice and secure. And one side um, has no down anymore, but it's still kind of the way I tie it up with the twisty ties. It's a sleeping bag. I'll do another video on that. And I've now got like a 20, like, easily 20 degree quilt that's going to keep me warm especially if I'm inside the bivy sack so that's it everything's nice and small and then you know for food I don't carry a lot of food because I'm moving fast I can eat when I get to town so I mean you know if you're going you know 15 20 miles a day you're what do you need like two two days of food I got tons of body fat on me so I'll throw in like a pound of cheese uh, some peanut butter uh, protein powder you know and maybe a dark chocolate bar or some olive oil coconut oil not that much and I just it's weird I eat more when I'm sitting around doing nothing than when I'm out hiking so uh, you know and, and I, instead of a food bag I just jam everything in in every little slot and then when I get to wherever I am I just usually hang my bag up in a tree and use that as my um, food bag oh by the way um, this also another reason I take this is because if you fold it up just like that you don't even have to blow it. If you blow it up, you're gonna get mold. Let me start again. So I'm not gonna blow it. I'm just gonna take it like this, go like this, get some air in there, close that up. Darn it, I did it again. Here we go. And voila, my, my inflatable pillow. There we go. And uh, I didn't, uh, you have to actually do it down three. It just uh, deflated, but it was working great the other day. So let me do it one more time for you guys. Give it a couple of vigorous shakes. Crap that air in, one, two, three, four, five. There we go, now it's nice. Now I got it down, so about five. There we go, see? It's not deflating now, nice pillow. So, multi-use, multi-use. Try to make everything uh, have more than one purpose. Uh, uh, and you notice I don't have a, a, sometimes I carry a spork, sometimes I don't. Quite honestly, nature provides. You got a knife, you can make chopsticks, or you can, you know, make it like just dig out a little thing, make your little uh, spoon, or take a super lightweight little plastic spoon. Um, there's a lot of things you can use. Um, I really, if I'm eating cheese, I'm just gonna bite it off. I'm eating 100% uh, cacao chocolate, I'm just biting it off. Uh, I don't really cook that much, you know, I, I'm lazy. I cook at home all the time. My, my hiking is my vacation, I don't wanna cook. So uh, just eat with my hands, no problem. So, or stab it with the knife. So that's it. I hope that inspires you. Um, you know, it's everything you need. You know, maybe you're not going to be in a lap of luxury, but you're not going to freeze to death. You're going to survive. Uh, learn some, I can't say enough, learn some wilderness skills. That is so critical when you're hiking the trail to know some basic skills and to understand not to be in a closed system where, oh my God, if you lose your pack and it falls down the mountain, you're going to die. You want to be in a system that's kind of an open system. Oh, last but not least, I just remembered. So my phone um, will go on my, um, you know, I wear shorts with a belt, so my phone will go on the belt. And also um, I carry fire steel that goes in a little pouch on the belt. And then my bat, I do carry uh, the anchor battery pack I just got. And uh, that shoves in nicely with the pack too. I just didn't shove it in here to bring it out, but uh, it does fit in here. So that's it. Phoenix Genesis. Once again, I'll see you on your trail. Bye.